nice to meet you to this new episode of Wikbit. Yes, Technics, hmm, CD player, wow. Compact disc player SL-PG590. Mesh converter. Somebody said it sounds cold, but I say it sounds very clear. Crystal clear sound. Yes, but and mm, I got this machine and mm, you know no information <laughs> but I know only one best brush we take that first to anti-dust this machine and then we would like to have a watch what's happened with it now I'm taking the connector and plug it in and stand by okay now we push the power on. Mm, no disk, something is written here. And we open it up. Oh, nice and soft. And then putting a CD in. Zack. <laughs> Closing the door. And no disk. Uh -huh. <laughs> what can it be? What happened? Hmm. Let's have a look. <laughs> have a look under the hood. We have here screws. Oh, there is missing one screw here. Mm -hmm. Ah, oops, what's this for a screw? Have a look at this. Don't forget to disconnect it from the mains, like me. <laughs> you have here a black, European black, or I don't know, Philips black. <laughs> it's got like. I found out there was a guy in the in the YouTube. He talking about the most important CD players, and um, <laughs> I'm not agree that what he said. Uh, he said Philips came later out with the CD100 in 1982 in November. That's correct, but uh, that was all planned from this company. And the question was only that, why Philips and Sony are making this product? I mean, why both companies are doing this at the same time? And look, wow, it's a cool machine. Nothing inside. Hello, nothing. <laughs> but uh, we have an uh, interest question. Why it doesn't spin? Now oh, we have the power supply on the right side. Long time I not saw. I see. Uh, now it's on the left side. Here. Uh, it, look. <laughs> Maybe here are the transformer positions what we can install here. <laughs> interest. This is a universal ground. Yeah. <laughs> I think so. Now we insert the connection and uh, what happened with it? Just insert this power supply, uh, switch it on and press to play. Uh huh. <laughs> nothing. Really nothing. It's. Hmm. <laughs> What happened with this machine? <laughs> don't spin. The motor is free, but don't spin. We look um, at the plan because I'm not so familiar with the Technics machines and um, oh, it's switching off. Uh -huh. it doesn't doesn't spin. Oh, it doesn't spin. But the 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 in and out is going. Look, this is working. Did the machine also spin not here? You can't see the laser. <laughs> it's very complicated. No laser light, no spin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's interesting. Uh, yeah. yeah, we must have a watch in the plan um, what's happened with this machine. In case of um, we need to measure, um, is the laser coming on? 
off or whatever. And so for these reasons, I take this to this side and put the measurement instrument on the left side. Maybe we can measure it from here. It's possible. So I take the measurement system here and have a watch what's happened. Now we have the service manual from the Technics. SL minus PG590 here. It's a it's a Chinese rubber stamp. Uh -huh. Okay. Multi-stage noise shaping. Mm hmm. This is interest. What is multi-stage noise shaping? That another that another video we do mesh one bit. Mm hmm. Ninety sixty B range. Is that correct? Ninety sixty decibels. We can calculate it. It's very easy to calculate it. 16 bit are 65,000 positions minus one. Okay. And um, we can also see that in here um, in dynamic FFF. Okay. Is that the full? But minus one position FFFE. And why this is so? Mm, this is so 65534. We're doing the logarithmic log. Where is log? I don't know where it is. Log here. We do this. That comes to this point 4.81 and so on. And we do that 20 times. Wow, it's 96.329 blah blah and so on decibels dynamic from signal to noise. And mm, the first thing what I think is we under we analyze it first what's hap what could be happened and think the first. We don't measure data. Mm -mm. Oh here it's a plan. Look here, this is cool. CD servo circuit. This is super. Look, a pin, RF pin. Super. I can measure it. This is stream. Look here. Here are the diodes that receiving the signal. Uh, this is the laser diode, I think. And uh, here we have the monitor diode. It feedbacks here in a regulation with this transistor, this transistor, and this master transistor. Yeah. Uh, if the voltage sinks, here are more current is floating to the laser diode and the ground. Okay, and we measure here: is the voltage here or not? Look, and this is the the switch on. If it comes here a uh, high, then it moves to the low, and then the laser is switched on. Okay, we must measure first here. That on pin number six, that the laser is switching on, yeah. And if the laser is switching on, we hope so. The laser came out. This is the first what we check. In case of that, that the initialization works. So the first must be the laser on, and the refractive from the diodes here must be measured. If there are coming no feedback signal back in this turn, in this processor, in this, mm, it's not in this AN servo amplifier, then the spin will not start. This is the first running the focus servos in and out and in, up and lower. Yeah, And then if no reflective is here, then the spin not start. This is the point. To see of the laser working, if the laser is working, we must disconnect it from the mains and we are um, I think we can have a watch under it or not. <laughs> it's not so. Uh, don't stare into the beam. Uh -huh. So, this is okay. Mm, it sounds okay. Switch it on. And is there a laser light? No. A laser light here. Uh -huh. Oh, it's a laser point. 
It's a laser point and no spinning. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Not spinning means the drive is wrong. Oh, but no. Hmm. No. What went wrong? Oh, look! <laughs> Different colors. <laughs> Why is this so? And here we have again a black. Ah. I don't understand why. Maybe the people are colorblind sometimes. But okay. <laughs> What's happened now? <laughs> Gak. Gak is good. Is Gak a good signal? We have now the, the information here. <laughs> Spin motor. Now the spin motor is here. Mm -hmm. oh, we we must find out what's happened here and why is this so? Maybe the spin motor is not connected to the to the drive, huh? This could be. Spin motor is not good connected to the drive, you think? Oh, what is here? Look! Here are some cables. Maybe they are banded or stretched or whatever. Oh, I see there are horrible things. Maybe the motor is not connected, huh? Who changed this? Who changed this drive? <laughs> I think so, the, the drive was changed. Normally is this not that the, the device are uh, so around here. Uh -huh. yes. <laughs> I see something. I think No, it's not bent. It's not bent and not destroyed, but the motor here, yellow and um, yellow and brown. Mm -hmm. Yellow and brown are the middle. Showing here, and I measure the motor, the two middle pins for the motor. Is that correct? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 11 ohms. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Sounds good. But why you don't spin? <laughs> the motor is okay, I think. But don't spin. The light is here and don't spin up. I take some acrylic glass and put it under it. I hope so I can uh -huh. <laughs> the the cable is too short. Oh, I must, mm, I must bend it or whatever. Ah, it's not good. Not good. Not good. Look, I found this. <laughs> the shape is not, <laughs> is not so perfect, but <laughs> it's special built for this application here. <laughs> um, yeah. You're wondering why I have so much plexiglass? Um, yeah, in my hobby time, I'm cutting plexi. Plexiglass or acrylic, however you would like to hear it, and this acrylic is, um, yeah, no disc, play, no spin, okay, and voltage, what comes from the motor, oops, I just open it now, <laughs> you should not open it, aha, I connect it by hand with the Oh, so I hope so now. It don't bite my fingers. <laughs> what? What was that? Uh, I'm not happy. Look, this is a cool. So I can, so I can interconnect it. Yes. So I can leave it connect, and I should not press the the, the disc button. 
Okay, okay so that we must measure the voltage here on these two pins. And if no voltage is coming, we know mm -hmm, it's it's not good. We take these two pins, I'm pressing play. Or I'm pressing off and on. Off. And now on. Not spinning. I'm back with the measurement instrument here in this voltage situation and mm, we should measure on pin 20 the, tw the 5 volts here it's pin 20 test point 20 uh -huh. what is this is it here no it's not here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 Pin 20. Don't have 5 volts. Okay. The plus B is not here. And in the middle, 0 volts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. I must connect it to the mains. <laughs> so stupid. Switching on. 0 volts. Okay. Five volts. Uh -huh. Twenty. Here are also five volts. We know now on pin number eleven. It's on this side. Uh -huh. This is the R seven. Oh. Here we should measure two and a half volts. Okay. Doesn't come. Doesn't spin up. No volt. It's off. And it's on. Now it should be spin up. What I see in the plan is that, that the V reference for the operation amplifiers for the four pieces inside this is on pin number two. That means we should measure pin number two. Huh? Two and a half volts. Okay, this is correct. Now if the two and a half volts are coming here, there is no, no control information for the start. If we change this control information, if we lower it to other position, then it should be spin. Yeah, but um, what does that mean? The control, the command comes from here to here. This is the sender of the command. Hmm. Interest. Why the sender doesn't send the command? We make now a simple thing. We hmm, I disconnect the, the motor drive and all, switch all off, and now we have this. This is 3.3 volts. And you hear? Like my washing machine. Shakes as well. That means the motor is working, but the uh, amplifier don't give a power out. In case of that, the processor gives no command. This is also interest. Why the processor gives no command? Hmm. <laughs> Why? These are the thousand whys. What I found out now is. I found out the pins on the board and we see the sledge motor and uh, reason wise here is the sledge motor. If I turn off and turn on, you see that? Uh -huh. It's too short. <laughs> too short, 20 milliseconds. 10 is too short, 50, 100. 100 is good. Off, on. You see this? Pause. This bus is the sledge motor. It's going forward and backward. Yep. And making this. I'm. I measure it um, on the input, and the input is uh, the input is here. Yeah. 
you can measure it here on the R731 but if I say I would like to drive with the sledge motor to the outside you must listen now the sound I put the microphone near by here to the motor I, I have it now on the motor I'm um, doing the following I'm doing the I'm doing a grounding yeah that means I connect this input over a one kilo ohm look here over one kilo ohm to a to a control input pin and this is here now listen <laughs> it's running outside and if I do that with the plus it's running to the inside but I don't need to do this in case of that I switch off and on off and on it goes further back to the start position what I'll show you but in the case of the spin motor there is no possible way to spin with the motor the input is here on the resistor 725 I have here 1 kilo ohm and the ground and I put it here the spin motor doesn't start doesn't spin that means this IC may be defect is maybe defect we order now a new one and waiting for a month and then we can repair it <laughs> we can change it <laughs> but sometimes <laughs> it's not allowed to deliver some goods in my country I'm very I'm very poor I'm really poor I would like to build out this chip here in case of that we cannot give we cannot get the chip for the uh, what was it uh, for this machine what I repaired the interest but we cannot have this Look, focus. Aha, the focus cannot work in this distance. Look, here is the IC. And we leave them cooling out. And we get the machine. Oh, we have here the drive. And we would like to have a watch on it. And it's the I think it was the it was the number one. I make a point here, and now we are hope so that we can get out this IC. Interest why I'm shaking my hands so today. Mm, Only the vibration inside this machine. <laughs> Smoke and dust. <laughs> Look at this, Etsy. <laughs> Smoke and dust. Doesn't work. <laughs> Okay, and I solder it in, but with a uh, with a soldering with the soldering iron, and um, leave the print now. Be cool. Uh, I hope so. It's the same. What is eight three eight nine eight three eight nine and this? Is also a three eight nine. A three eight nine, okay. A three eight nine original techniques. And here, here we go.
<laughs> Very funny. <laughs> um, switch on my 200, uh, 410, uh, 410 uh, degrees, 410 degrees. I hope so. We can solder it in with no problems. And uh, then I hope so the machine is running because there was the motor was not spinning and so on. And yes, we have a watch now on it. Oh, it's quite hot, man. It's a little bit hot. And okay, see it here. It's okay, and now a little bit more here. <laughs> not good. <laughs> Man, this is not good. Now oh, it's it's clear it's it's not so but now it's good. Direct on the corners. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> mm. I build it now in to the machine position. Get in the position. No? Okay. I hope so. It's working. If not, I have a problem. Then we cannot fix this issue. This is one big problem here the older machine. Now I connect it here to the and this flex PCB cable I connect it here to and now we need a power cable here is the power cable this is one type of this European style connect this in here and that in here and we open it, start to open the tray, close it, and hope so. <laughs> no disk. That means that the processor has this problem. The processor don't give the spin command. Yes, that was it. Now I hold pin number 7 in high. This is the reset and uh, this is here, pin number 7. Now I would like to show you that the pin number 3 is focus. It's working. Pin number 4. This is the radial. Pin number 9. 9, 10, 11, 12, 9. So uh, is the slider motor in pin number 11? Don't work. <laughs> it rest. The IC uh, is also defect from the other from the other machine. What can that happen? I mean, the motor is not defect. I can measure the motor 
and I switch it off. Measure the ohm of the motor and this is here, these two pins. We have 11.44 ohms and this is uh, it's normal. Normal for a motor like this. Also the connection between the motor, the driver motor and the driver, this is uh, this is 15 and 16 plus 13, 14, 15, number 15 15 16 in here so that the connection is here yeah what shall I say it's the same IC and the IC is defect in the picture to see is a stacked IC this one I stack it the defect over a defect IC and they're using the second channel and listen I can now spin up the motor with my command yeah but first I must connect it can hear it it spins up with this amplifier with the second amplifier of this IC all the amplifier the upper and the lower are defect but now I have the next issue the CD will not be dedicated uh, indicated uh, it's not it's not viewable for the machine and I don't know why Yes, and now <laughs> I I changed this IC, but that hap that don't happen too. Also, this IC now is also defect. I order a new one IC from this spin motor, and the channel one is defect. And also, I change the drive back to the old drive. This drive is new and doesn't spin up. But it happened with the motor. I see, and this is the channel one is defect. And I soldered the complete print, also the big ICs, the controller and the signal processor. And that was it was so complicated to do that. But now you can see we must change also this IC again. In case of that, that spin up after start doesn't start. Look, if I go here, insert the disc, and now spin up, it spins up now. But we must change the IC, and the sound is coming. You hear? No problem. But sometimes it doesn't start. I sold the, the complete board too, and this channel 1 is defect, and also on this IC the channel 1 is defect. In case of that, it doesn't run with the new drive. It runs with the old, but sometimes not. That means the IC is also defect. It's working and it's defect. Techniques SL. PG591, 590. Yeah, the defect was the motherboard was completely not good soldered. And I soldered it again, changing the IC, but the IC doesn't work with the new drive. That means I order a new IC for this amplifier. I think the current is too high and it's burned out because it was only a test from my other machine there I built out but uh, it was incompatible and so we have now a running machine with the old drive but I would like to change the laser too <laughs> to a new one but uh, that doesn't work with this IC I ordered a new one IC but it was very expensive here yeah. and so this is 
a working defect machine. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> um, yeah, it's not so fun, but okay. I must accept it. We must accept it. If you like my channel, so please subscribe. And I say thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.